All right, everyone. Welcome to Simply Bitcoin. We break down the news from Twitter, the daily fail, meme review, software releases, the websites by plebs. Drop us a like and subscribe. We're kicking it off with the numbers. All right, everyone. We are currently at a block height of 675,838. Current Bitcoin price, 53,930. Chain rewrite days, 609 total lightning capacity, 1,154.17 Bitcoin versus gold market cap. Slight drop, 8.91%. Sats per dollar, ugh, we don't want that number to climb. 1,854. Bit Dude, of a dip. Bit of a dip. We took a little bit of a tumble, but you know what, Phil? The the more, the more. Of course, you bought. We all bought. If I you bought, didn't but buy, it disappeared in a boating accident. <laughs> it disappears all the time. You too. I Terrible. know, man. It just keeps what happening. Idiot. What's going on? But uh, <laughs> uh, but no, in all seriousness, um, that is serious. But um, <laughs> another another serious matter. Another uh, more serious matter. Another another serious matter. Uh, that we have to attend to is that yeah, man. It, it, we took a, we took a little bit of a dip. Everyone expected a movement upwards. I expect it as well. I think it's coming on the horizon, Phil. Um, but the longer we consolidate at these prices, especially if we take even more of a dip, man, the the higher the 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 upcoming move is going to be. But that's just an opinion, and I'm totally speculating. But uh, but yeah, Phil. Good speculation. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I tried to get, I tried to peel Phil's speculation out, but he's like lip sealed. Uh, I'm not going with the speculation. We just dropped 5k in a day. Um, I'm staying out of the speculation right now. All I did was buy this dip. So <laughs> that's, I, that's my speculation. There you go. <laughs> okay. Good enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Anyways, Phil, it's time for the daily fail. All right. I'm sure the Bitcoiners, the plebs, the plebs, all of us were, we're very familiar with this fail, this, uh, this genius that, uh, that works at, uh, what is it? He's an associate professor, George Washington university, author of two books, uh, Mr. Uh, David Karf. Um, yeah, this is a pretty huge fail thought experiment. I, I'm pretty sure the school would love to know what this guy is writing on Twitter. Um, thought experiment. What if you put all the Bitcoin enthusiasts on a ship and the ship sank? Don't get me wrong, but you know what? To me, that's incredibly, that that's just incredibly dangerous, kind of really stupid. And the kind of, you know, it kind of creeps me out that a quote unquote professor, this person is teaching your, you know, yours and our children. Okay. And he's, you know, subversively, um, putting out a thought experiment that involves mass genocide. You know, and that that thread got really, really ugly. Um, I, you know, that kind of ignorance, that level of ignorance, you know, when we talk about the then they fight you stage, like this is serious. This is the level of stupidity that we are going to hear. And think about it. This person is getting paid to educate people at that school. That is scary. I'm sorry. That's scary as fuck. Like, I, you know what I mean? What, what other, what other stupid things has he been telling people? Dude. Right. It's scary. It's, it's, it's absolutely terrifying. And I think you're absolutely right, Phil. When you, uh, when you start grouping, you know, people, right. Uh, that those groups of people, you know, could become a scapegoat, right? Clearly he, he, yep. he aimed it in that fashion, right? Kind of like, oh, the Bitcoiners, they're so annoying. Look at the price going up. You know, uh, God forbid there's a there's a there's a depression. Bitcoin, we feel, is going to be one of the those assets that are totally protected from that, you know, because governments just tend to to print their way out of that. And that just makes Bitcoin even more valuable. And that's exactly what's going on right now. Right. So just to suggest violence or just to suggest mass violence you know, uh, it's, it's, it could get, it could get out of hand and, you know, people and human beings in general have this habit of thinking just because it hasn't happened, does it, it means it can't happen. 
Like that's not the case at all. Look at look yeah. at the, look at the pandemic. Look at what just happened, right? <laughs> we're normalizing <laughs> we're normalizing chin diapers. Okay, like you know, like it's it's a lot of um, a lot of stuff has happened because of the pandemic that normally would not be okay. Would normally never happen, right? Um, so yeah, man, it, it's it's scary and. I, I I feel feel like it's just gonna keep on escalating, and I keep saying that word, man. But uh, I'm gonna put a video of an escalator, dude, because I keep saying that es- that that escalating word. But anyways, Phil, it's time for the daily meme review. All right, everybody, the meme for today is brought to us by Sean Stack, and check this out: central banks, people. Satoshi Nakamoto, Bitcoiners, Bitcoin mass adoption, fix the world, fix the money, fix the world. Absolutely. Amen. That's the mission, right? Like that's the whole point of Bitcoin. It's it's going to free mankind. I said this in a tweet the other day. Uh, it's it's just going to dude, man, it, it has the power to free mankind because it empowers the individual with their own financial sovereignty, something that has been impossible until with large sums of money in particular until 2009, right? So that Satoshi changed everything. So for that, Phil, I'm going to give that an iPhone charger, but not the old one, the new USB-C iphone charger yes what about you solid score and i have to admit those new you know something about the the way that apple you know i you know the way they make things feel you know it's it's that the the material that they use it's not really slick anymore it's it's just a little rigid it's it's the tears of of chinese children factory workers that's some technology um i'm so, totally like, kidding that was a bad I know, joke <laughs> but uh but yeah man no, i totally get uh, you though it, it is silky you smooth. know it's it's got this like it's silky something, smooth it's something about the way that they do it anyways it, it's the whole user experience apple figured out how to totally manipulate us um for well, a good portion of us anyways anyways back to this meme totally great meme easy to understand Re- you know and fu- you know funny and sad at the same time you're laughing but at the same time you're not it's kind of like when you're watching the movie idiocracy you know like as you're i don't know for the people you know whoever saw it especially the beginning you're laughing at the beginning but then you kind of stop laughing or inside you start not feeling so good because you realize oh shit this is what we're doing um so yeah that that's kind of what that meme is it's it's funny but it's not um and i love it so i am gonna give it Let's see here. All right. You know what? Nobody's gotten this yet. I think grapes. <laughs> oh my god! Gets I grapes. feel like is that that's gonna get it old one day, dude. But I'm still laughing every time you pull out some random. Thank God for the meme lords. They just the fruit. <laughs> they improved our scoring system. But anyways, Phil, that is a fabulous score. Grapes. And the new iPhone brick charger, fabulous scores. But anyways, Phil, it's time for the Daily News, sponsored by Crypto Cloaks. All right, everybody, the news for today, it's kind of, you know, following up the same pattern of, for some reason, the institutional elites the media they're not telling us what is really going on with the world right i know you guys have seen a couple of these videos on twitter right but uh here's a video from pedro mccormack and this is this only isn't in uh in in the uk right this is also happening here apparently happening in also in the UK, huge marches, and they're all they're all protesting the lockdowns. Here's a tweet from a Bitcoiner. Germany started taking little steps, opening again in March. Now going back in full lockdown again. All of the media is going hard against people opposing lockdown, saying that they are right wing conspiracy theorists. Many afraid to speak out and being labeled right. Uh, so you know it 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 goes back to this this 
this uh this this like if you oh if you start going against the narrative if you start going against the elites like ron desantis the governor of florida said in yesterday's article which we reported on sunday's episode in the wall street journal if you go against the elites the narrative right that covid is this 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 uh this 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 virus this this uh this rona with this horrible mortality rate you know you get labeled you just get you you get the platform you get censored right so it's very scary here's a tweet by uh surfer jim right uh to quote him a non disc uh phil help me out with discriminatory Thank you. Tool to facilitate free movement, but only for those with the mark. Yeah, that doesn't discriminate against those that don't agree with the narrative. No, not at all. I totally trust the European Commission, right? So it's back to this idea of 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 institutions, right? Institutions like here's the thing. Now here's e- here's an even scarier thought idea. Central bank digital currencies are right uh, around the corner. Now, could you imagine saying anything that goes against the narrative now? It's not only that they could deplatform you, right? They could literally just stop your money, right? They do this in China, right? If if they don't like what you say, hey. it's over, right? So it's like it, this is starting to happen, this wave of like – of 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 men of uh, authoritarianism all around the world you're seeing it and bitcoin is literally the way out it's like out you're opting out of that madness and you're defunding them in the process right so it's really interesting phil what are your thoughts i was gonna make a terrible joke and say what's the difference between where's waldo and jack ma you can find where's waldo you know like Jack Ma, man, he just disappeared. He was there. He was, you know, Alibaba. He's doing great. And poof, Jack Ma's gone. Didn't really, you know, had some some opinion that didn't quite, you know, rub well with the CCP. And poof, poof. he's not Jack Ma anymore. He's, he's going to be Jack retrained brand new Jack Ma. <laughs> and, and, and before you get to your point, Phil, let me yes. just actually <laughs> specify the countries. Right, because I say it's happening all over the place. Let me specify. It's Austria, Belgium, Bulgaria, Croatia, Denmark, Finland, Germany, Romania, Serbia, Sweden, and the United Kingdom, France, and Poland are all protesting against the the Rona lockdowns. It's not mentioned in mainstream media, right? Because mainstream media wants you to believe that everyone's going with this uh 2030 you know you'll own nothing and be happy plan right uh so it's just uh i just wanted to clarify that phil i apologize no no worries um so look you know um i I don't i'm so sick of talking about the rona though or anything that has to do with it but the way to me this whole situation absolutely is part of the bullish case you know for bitcoin because again right we're, we're we're finding that you know the Essentially, you know, the the institutions we thought we could believe in, the, you know, the places we thought we could trust, all of a sudden, all these things are getting turned upside down. And you start to look around yourself. And when you start to realize that so much of your, you know, your, your life and what you've created is tied up in these, you know, difficult to maneuver, difficult to move assets and whatnot, well, you know, you really does help the, uh, the case for Bitcoin, right? Those of us, you know, for those of us that have been accumulating Bitcoin, it's it's much easier for us to, you know, just get up and and walk away with, you know, a sizable for depending on, you know, what we stacked, you know, a sizable portion of our wealth, you know, absolutely. So, and and I, I think that that's all this does. And, and and it's just could could you imagine, dude, that they also control the money too? These oh my god! They, I mean, they, this they, is this is the worst case scenario. Imagine you're going to need these vaccination passports. Which actually, I wanted to make a point about that, you know. Already, I, I forget how many vaccines a, 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 a child gets when they're born or by the age of five. Like we, we are like we are human pin cushions. OK, that, that, that is exactly what we are. And from what I'm seeing where they're going to now start to. And again, I don't have any sources for this. It was just some random stuff that I read that we're going to be getting other booster shots from this. And there's going to be all kinds of vaccines for every single variant and and all kinds of stuff. And it's going to become very normalized that we have these vaccine passports and that we have to get these new vaccines to constantly get them updated. Human pincushions. 
Right now, I, I totally sound hyperbolic, but unfortunately, in five to ten years, when somebody's watching this, they're going to be like, oh, shit, that's what happened. And and look, you know? and we keep reiterating this, guys, the important, the reason you should care about this, right, is because this all has to do with Bitcoin. Bitcoin gives you the ability to opt out of this madness, and if, and if things get bad enough, it gives you the ability to leave, to get out very quickly uh if you look historically back in because you know you look at world war ii is one of the one of the most monumental events of the last century right and back in in the 30s right when uh the the you know the 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 party in germany that i can't say on youtube without completely being uh striked down uh started to pass started to uh s started to crack down on asserted ethnic group a lot of them couldn't leave because they couldn't they couldn't take their wealth with them right mm -hmm. that one of the first things that they did uh this this party in germany particularly in the 1930s and 40s is they seized the wealth of 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 this particular ethnic group and they couldn't and they couldn't leave right imagine if these say if these same people had bitcoin Perhaps imagine the millions of people that could have been saved because they could have left, right? And that's the power that Bitcoin gives you, right? Uh, but anyways, moving on to the next thing, uh, speaking of failing institutions, I wish I could say these names. I wish I could say what I was talking about uh, with without uh, being fear, you know, without having to censor myself for fearing of, uh, you know, it's just, it's- man, YouTube algorithms. It's, it's just, it's sad. But anyways- uh, so there is a there is a proof talk right uh, by uh, there is a meeting with I guess the the heads of the of the central banks and uh, they they had a meeting and here's the the headline by uh, CNBC Powell calls cryptocurrencies not really useful stores of value and says Fed will move slowly so really interesting things here I want to I want to play you guys the clip uh, so you guys could hear it yourself so turning to your question cr crypto assets. Uh, which we call them crypto assets. Uh, you know, they're they're highly volatile. See Bitcoin, and therefore not really useful as a store of value. And they're not backed by anything. They're more of an asset for speculation. So they're also not particularly in use as a means of payment. It's more uh, a speculative asset that's that's essentially a substitute for gold rather than for the dollar. And I think with crypto assets, the 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 public needs to understand the risks. The principal thing is there's the volatility. There's also the outsized energy requirements re requirement for, for so turning your so this is extremely important right because yeah, this is the head of essentially like the bank of central banks right the fed clarifying exactly what he thinks right and this happened today what he thinks of bitcoin and uh we have next to him the head of the bank of international settlements uh mr kingpin uh, the evil villain uh, next to Augustine Augustus. Carson, w which we have covered a lot on this show. But uh, anyways, Powell uh, said two interesting things, Phil. First, he compared Bitcoin to gold, right? Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people got happy about that and say, oh, look, look, like, look at Peter Schiff, blah, blah, blah. But I, 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 I bring I, I see that as alarming and I'll point that out as to why. Mm -hmm. Um and uh, the, the second thing is it, it is a good thing because he doesn't see he, he, he says that Bitcoin is not a threat to to the dollar directly. Um, but I think it is because it exposes it. You know, it doesn't. It, it, he's right. It's not a good it's not a good uh, it, it's Bitcoin isn't isn't great for buying coffee, you know, on the on the on the first layer, which is mm -hmm. what he was talking about. Right. But, you know, on the second layer, that's another story. But anyways, uh, so he, he's right there. But it and the whole energy thing again, the whole like here we are again talking about energy. So it's just another excuse. Right. But man, for for the leader of the head of the central banks, which is the people that we're trying to defeat to say these things about Bitcoin, they're really not that negative. The Europeans and this Augustine guy are, are, are really do attack it. Right. So it's it's just different. And the reason that I say, Phil, that uh, it's worrying that he he really made it clear that he thinks Bitcoin 
is kind of a replacement for gold is because we all are a lot of us Bitcoiners know that in 1933, kind of like in, in the beginning of the Great Depression or a couple years into it, um, FDR essentially signed an executive order making it illegal for American citizens to possess gold or gold bars, right? Specifically. So, man, uh, why is he, why is he so open to the idea of calling Bitcoin gold? And he like positions himself like Bitcoin isn't a threat. You know, um, I, I, again, this is a speculation. I am connecting things, but, mm -hmm. uh, it, it is, I, <clears throat> anything could happen and uh it's i think it's our job to report it um but uh phil what are your thoughts yeah who knows you know maybe they think they could try to 6102 it good luck um really good luck uh but besides that um look i i think it's i i think it's incredibly i think it's incredibly alarming that a person in his position doesn't have proper information about bitcoin number one Number two, he makes the 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 fatal mistake that everyone makes in in those positions that I'm sorry to say this don't know fuck all about cryptocurrencies or Bitcoin. Um, they they don't separate the two. There's there's all the shit coins, right, which are completely different than Bitcoin. They are. They're all centralized garbage. They uh, they can all be led back to some foundation or some company. They're also have you know in most cases do not require a token to actually provide their function or service okay so all of these things are completely different and by grouping them we can see that they do not understand what they're talking about they're being fed information and let's be honest they grind out a paycheck and you know like most of us and at the end of the day he's got incentives he's got mouths to feed he's got you know shit to pay for that makes him happy and all that stuff and he wants to keep that going so yeah i'm gonna say what i gotta say and do what i gotta do i mean at the end of the day he's not gonna be around to see his poor decision making in action he's gonna be long gone yep see these guys man it's it's all just a huge freaking scam I, i'm sorry you know they they don't know any better they're just being fed lines they are not incentivized in any way, shape, or form to look at Bitcoin. They are only incentivized to keep their control of the money system. It, it, man, it's, 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 it. yep. Oh, it's, <clears throat> frust it's frustrating to say the least. Uh, but anyways, Phil, the next piece of news, um, I think we covered that very well. Uh, check this out. Michael Saylor on the cover of, of uh, Time Magazine. Look, at, you know, it's a very gaudy picture, very but but you have to understand that getting on time um, is something historical. Mm -hmm. Right. So, like, if you look at, you know, these are just these are just uh, Time magazines from points in history. So 1923, um, you know, a, a portrait of a retiring uh, congressman. Here is Hirohito, right? The, the emperor of Japan during World War Two, Marilyn Monroe. Audrey Hepburn, you know, so you have to understand that time has been around for a long time, right? So they cut, they, they cover these moments in, in history. They, they cover these moments in history, right? And, uh, you know, for, for, for Michael Saylor and for Bitcoin to kind of be a part of that history is kind of a big deal, right? Um, obviously, he's not the cover of, of Time magazine, but, you know, it, he is in the magazine. But anyways, um, <laughs> <laughs> they they uh they interviewed him and uh these are this is one of of uh one of the questions tesla is such a maverick to quote the article tesla is such a maverick company are we seeing other indications that institutional investors are getting more involved in the crypto craze if you go back to march 2020 it's oh, it was only the rare institution involved in the 12 months that followed there's been an av avalanche there's been an avalanche of institutional involvement. MicroStrategy is the first public tra traded company that made a material investment, but Square followed and Tesla followed. But they're the tip of the iceberg. They're the tip of the iceberg. We did a Bitcoin for Corporation Summit in February. I thought it would be a couple thousand people showing up. 
it ended being more than 10,000 a day and it broke our video server. I could attest to that. I was there. I watched the thing uh, to report it for you guys. Uh, but anyways, uh, it, it you know, and then here's this next question. What was the impact of the move by Tesla? It was an inflection point. All of a sudden, the narrative goes from those crazy people. What are they thinking? Speculating Bitcoin to maybe this is a real thing. This is probably not going away. Let's try to figure out how to think about it. Right. And uh, they asked him at the end, which I thought was pretty badass. What is your mission, Michael Saylor? And he said, my mission right now is to fix the balance sheets of the world. Dude, absolute legend reporting in uh, in Time magazine. Of course, we, we do want to disclose everything here on Simply Bitcoin. He is touting his own horn, right? Because he just bet his company's future on Bitcoin. Got right? a lot so of corn. So he's doing that, but it's just awesome in the macro historical sense that Bitcoin is now a, like literally it's becoming a huge part of history, right? That it's just it's 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 pouring into the mainstream. Uh, but anyways, Phil, what are your thoughts? So, I mean, look, you know, we try we don't have any heroes in Bitcoin, right? You know, we always talk about slaying heroes. It's not because, you know, we have heroes or we put these people on a pedestal, but it's because some people just feel the need to wear capes and you sometimes have to remind them that nobody needs nobody needs a hero. Um, so that being said, um, we do like what he's doing, you know, like even though it's like, yeah, we may not need a hero, but he's he's right now. He's totally killing it in terms of like a giga Chad, right? He he's I mean, he he's he's fulfilling. He's, he's doing crazy stuff. He's fulfilling exact. He's fighting. Uh, he's fighting the Bitcoin battles, which is why we like him. But that but can you know switch. What it is. That can switch in a snap of a finger because that's yeah. what Bitcoin does. Bitcoin kills your heroes, man. So, so yes, I agree, Phil. He's totally on our team right now. That could change, but right now, dude, uh, Bitcoin and Time Magazine kind of a big deal, uh, like in a historical sense, right? I'm yeah. a history junkie, so uh, I thought that was pretty interesting. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, Phil, there was a software release today. Why don't you tell everybody about it? Software yeah. releases. All right. It looks like we have join in box version 0.3.3 that was released. And the details to that are down below in the show notes. Thanks, Phil. All right, guys, that was Tuesday's episode. No, Monday's episode. <laughs> so Tuesday's episode, because you guys will see it. We'll on Tuesday. Tuesday. That was Tuesday's episode of Simply Bitcoin. If you enjoyed the episode, you know it's to smash that like button. And of course, if you love the show, feel free to subscribe. And of course, we will see you tomorrow for another episode, a brand new freaking episode of Simply Bitcoin. Bitcoin.